Hey everybody, Alphabetty and Physics here today. This is actually part two of the series, How Good is the Rowdy Code 102? So I have this sample of Otanite right here, and it contains uranium-238, it's a uranium ore, right? Well, we're going to be seeing if we can detect uranium-235 in it, because theoretically there is some amount of uranium-235 in this uranium ore. We just don't know how much, and we're going to find that out too. But for now, I just want to see if the Rowdy Code can detect this. So quickly, we'll just go ahead and see what the dose rate is. Ah, that means we're connected. So right now, I have just connected my Radio Code 102 to my mobile phone, and now we are going to run a gamma spectrum on this odd night sample, and we are going to hope to see uranium-235 as a peak in the spectrum that it gives us. Okay, so we haven't detected any uranium-235 yet, but look at this, it actually picked up on technesium-99M in the uranium ore. Why do I point out that? Well, technesium-99M is a fission product, and uranium-235 is one of the fissional isotopes in here, so this could be a result of uranium-235 that is just a little bit more active. Okay guys, in less than 20 minutes, the Rowdy Code 102 actually picked up a peak from Uranium-235. This is mind-blowing for a detector that is less than $300, it is actually able to pick up Uranium-235 and Uranium ore. But how much really is there? Well, let's go see. So we're actually going to be doing this a simple way. We are going to weigh the Uranium ore, because if you don't do it this way, it is a lot harder. And by a lot, I mean a lot. So what we're going to do is we're just going to put this piece of paper on the scale. Oh. Fifteen grams. Haha, <laughs> catch that? Ten grams. But we're going to subtract the weight of this box. Huh? Guess the actual odd night in here weighs less than a gram. So apparently my scale is not sensitive enough to pick up the odd night in here as it's part of the weight. And also, these two perky boxes are actually slightly different. You may not be able to tell on camera, but this one seems more angled than this one. But I see that as having probably minimal effect on this. They would probably still weigh close to the same amount. So we're just going to call this half a gram because I'm not exactly sure of what the weight is, but I am sure that it's less than a gram. So I ran the calculation with 0.5 grams. Don't worry, it's simple. It's just you take 0.711% of the mass of your uranium ore, which in this case I'm going to estimate is 0.5 grams. And so when we plug that into a calculator, we get 0.003555 grams of uranium-235 in this small uranium ore sample. Well, thanks for watching another episode of Alpha Gamma Physics. See you soon.